How to be a successful crypto investor. Part 7. Creating a successful community is a lifelong process and more importantly, it is a lifelong learning process. You will stop creating bad products or wasting your time and resources when you realize that you have to focus on the growth of your community. When you try to invest money to create an authentic community you are just trying to take sleeping pills when you can't sleep. Both of them are not permanent solutions and are likely to harm in the long term because both things need long term solutions. Most crypto founders become part of the crowd and only focus on creating products based on their own thinking without the community's consent and that is what leads to the failure of the project. One can't be part of the crowd to succeed. We, in the long term coin, believe that we are not part of the crowd. Most crypto founders are very scared to reach out to the community on a daily basis because they feel that they might have to give something extra to the person who provides value or they assume that they might look vulnerable. Both are not true. You need to be aware that which products can help you and your community in growth. If your community is not using your product then what is the point of creating such a product? If not all at least some should be using it. Keep asking the community what they want to build together. When not finding growth ask the community clearly the solutions they can offer. To be at peace every moment and to face the competition easily keep communicating with your community at every opportunity. When you feel that your competitors are stealing your business then go to the community and ask for their help. I feel that this is also an opportunity to create a bigger bond with our own community and that will help us not only to eliminate the competition but will also offer us long lasting growth. When you were a child you had no worries the same way you don't need to be worried as long as you have a thriving community on which you can focus. When you are faced with the challenge of growing your users and the more you can enjoy the challenge higher your odds of focusing on the growth of your community. I believe that every challenge can be enjoyed as long as we have the support of the community and vice versa. Creating the products or even designing marketing and growth strategies by doing deeper discussions with our community can lead to a higher success ratio. Have a childlike determination to focus on the success of your community. When you try to do something on your own or if you are willing to take a bigger risk without the community's consent you are likely to fail to win your community's trust and at the same time, you are also like to fail in that risk-friendly venture. I am not saying that risk cannot be taken but my point is that with the community's consent we can know if we are wrong in our calculations. If you are really fond of staying fit then I would really recommend focusing on walking while thinking about how you can make your community successful. The moment we start finding our own community most beautiful we are likely to feel compassionate towards them and then we can work for their growth with ease. Whenever you are looking to grow your project come back to your community and stay away from your alone thinking. Rather than that, it is better to create a community discussion. Thinking alone will hardly get you anywhere but creating a community discussion about how to grow can lead you to a far better outcome. We start a car and go out to places sometimes just for a change. We go for a drive just to stay away from ourselves. In the same way, we are always dwelling on doing things alone because going back to the community for a discussion is always like going back to ourselves and not in that car for an unnecessary drive. When you start thinking alone there will be a point probably after a while when you will understand at deep levels that this thinking is not making any quick decisions or not going anywhere. Probably at that point, one should have a clear signal that it is better to ask for a solution from the community. If the community doesn't reply to you with a solution it is a signal that you need to improve your community. Next time when you are stuck with a problem then remember two important things. It is an opportunity for you to connect with your community at a deeper level. If your community doesn't give you a good solution, it is an opportunity to improve your existing community. We are not working each and every second until we are not focusing each and every second on the community's growth. Community growth creates value for our users because if the community is not growing we are not likely to help our users grow. The more our community is involved in the growth of our project higher our odds of creating value for our users. Value investing is not only about finding undervalued coins or stocks it is more about creating value. The important part is word value. All crypto teams are very goal oriented but have they ever thought about creating value for the community? The amount of value we create for our community decides the value we can create for our customers. Everyone can think about creating value for the users because that is where the real capital is but have we ever thought about creating value for the community? Is it possible that the community's growth will define how much value users will get from the project? When we don't focus on creating value for the community we are truly unable to use the power of the internet and crypto. 
The future of the project is secured when the growth of the community is secured. The growth of the community happens when we create value for them. When the community values the project and aligns them with your vision they will likely listen to you. When they listen then only you can ask them to support you. One needs to be extremely impactful to his own community in order to make the project successful. The higher the growth you want higher your impact should be on your community. The higher your impact on your community higher the community will grow. Even if you do not have too much craving of making your project extremely successful you need to have a solid grip on your community because that will increase your craving to grow your project for the sake of your future and your community's future. Read that again. Your community can always hire another person to manage the project if you are ineffective. It is very essential to understand that the growth of the community and your effectiveness to influence your own community will go hand in hand. If we do not have an effect on our own community then it is likely that the project will sooner or later be in jeopardy. Your effectiveness in your community will not be given to you by your community but it has to be earned by you otherwise there will be only members but not those who want their growth as community members. Your influence on your community will depend upon how much positive change you can bring to them and in how much time. It doesn't matter what kind of product you create if you do not have influence over your own community, we all are likely to fail without the influence. A lot of crypto founders create interesting products but because of their lack of influence on their own community, they fail even though the idea was brilliant. Very essential to understand that it is your work that will lead you to your influence and not your ideas. The more influence we have on our existing community higher the odds of adding new members because they get the vibe that this guy can lead. A lot of your influence on your community will depend upon who you are as a person. People get the vibe of your personality and character and they are likely to judge you from your telegram chat history as well. One of the clearest ways to know that you have influence or you can create a significant community is if you have social media followers. The deeper your connection with your audience higher your influence on them. You will have to learn to utilize the energy and time of your community in the best possible way to help them succeed through your project. The movement community realizes that if you can't help them grow they are likely to leave the project. To make your community grow you will have to make them participate in the process of growth through discussions about the products, investing more capital or bringing more capital, or designing successful marketing strategies. If you can improve the unity between your community members then it can also be a great indicator that you have a decent influence. Without the influence on your community neither you can grow nor your community. Without a decent influence, you are just like a leader who has no followers. If you do not have solid community backing there is something wrong with your perception about building a community. Actually, influencing and building a community is a daily process in the same way holding your Bitcoin is a daily process. Meaning that you will have to be here for the long haul and you can't give up until you are done. You will have to let your daily efforts compound. The way you can't make 10x returns in Bitcoin in a day it is unlikely that you can make 10x growth in building a successful community. Your ability to influence your community can also be learned if you do not carry the ability. The most important thing is the determination to grow your community for the longer term. You will need to be disciplined and visionary in order to grow your community. Improvement in our influencing skills is what will make us different from others. We can't create a community only when we are not willing to learn how to create a great community. That is the only thing that is stopping you, your attitude to learn. When you will think that creating a successful community is for developers or social media influencers you are not thinking long term. These types of thinking occur when we try to build community in quick successions. The price of building a successful community has to be paid every day although the results you see may happen later. Most successful community builders have years of experience in one or another way. They might have transferred their ability to create their coding skills into a vision that helped others to follow them but overall they have some form of experience. Even if you fail to create a great community at least you know that you tried your best and you dared greatly. Under any circumstances or no matter what sorrow you have on a particular day you will have to keep working to build on those tough days as well. If you see the greatest leaders in the past they all had one trait in common and that was the ability to learn. That ability is the key to your success to influence your community and help them grow. It will be your responsibility to help your community grow. There has to be a strong sense in our community that growth is bound to happen here. Stable growth of the community on daily basis is what is necessary to grow your project in crypto. It is very essential for the community and for us to be aware that we are in the right direction because if we are not in the right direction what is the point of doing so much work? We can't help a community in crypto grow if we are not in the right direction. 
Controlling the right direction is a way better path than going aimless. When as a community we try to launch a new product it is very essential for all of us to understand that if we fail it is very necessary to learn from it otherwise the same mistake can happen again. It is very essential to know as a community where you stand and where the project stands. If the project has just started and has a great vision then you will have to start ways to finance yourself first to create a good MVP. P that can happen when you ask your community members to participate in the token sale. It is also very essential to learn from the existing community members if they have succeeded in the past with any other crypto project. This can also help the project grow. It is very important for you to also understand that you need to take the consent of your community to reach the desired vision. We are highly focused on creating a fund that can give the highest possible returns to the everyday investor. This is a tough vision but we will have to be determined to execute this. The vision has to be first executed in your mind and then only it can be executed in reality. When I travel on an international trip I travel twice, the first time when I'm creating my itinerary and the second time when I actually travel. The same goes for your vision to execute a high quality crypto product. Jim Collins once said that you need to know the current reality but also need to have full faith until you execute your vision. Knowing the current reality that where your community stands and at the same time living your vision is the key. This is what real leaders do. Faith is hard to maintain but it has to be maintained. We at Long Term Coin have faith that we will create a fund that gives the highest possible returns with the help of the community and highly skilled traders. If you or even we can't navigate our community through rough patches we are liable for the death of our project. If to fulfill your vision you need to hire developers and you need funds then ask the community. The community needs to understand that your vision is great and if there has to be some extra cost then let it be but your vision should be your priority. Vision is the life force of the project and without a great vision, there is no satisfaction for yourself and also for your community to stay invested either financially or emotionally. When you want to execute your vision you will need the community's permission in most cases so it is great to be prepared before going to create a proposal to the community. Projections have to be made in small plans before the community. The biggest issue you will find and which will affect your actions will be the uncertainty that you will face to execute your ultimate vision. During the journey of fulfilling the vision you will need to celebrate small successes and it will also encourage the community to know that they all are growing together. A great vision will also need great preparation. The community can grow only when you prepare and you can also take the help of the community even in creating the blueprint of your vision. Reviewing with your community about weekly progress is a practice a lot of crypto project focuses on and I believe that it is a great practice. We are also planning to do that to fulfill our vision of creating the best performing fund in terms of yearly returns. I believe that faith plays an important role when you have extremely high goals. I hope you love this content and if you did then please be part of our community and let's grow together. Join our telegram group.